Just a few minutes south of Highway 17, we're in Spanish, Ontario, and we're on our way to an oldie, a June 2001 cache. But first, we've got to ascend the stairs to the lookout, and then it's a 500 meter walk to the cache. Come on, let's take a look at the view. Once on top, you get this amazing panoramic view. Here it is. On the way to the target cache, Lyric Lass pulled up her map, found another one on the way. Took a little searching. We thought it was over there. Turns out, it was there. Oh, look at that. And there's Ooh, a nice pin. We've got about 250 meters to go on this walk to this oldie and we're still in a heat warning here. This is uh, in mid-July we're on this hike and uh, temperatures are already before noon up to 30 degrees. The whole Great Lakes Basin is in a heat warning. Not expected to break for a few days but so nice. At least up here we got a little bit of shade and the breeze coming off the the lake there is just just enough to cut down the heat and uh, we're gonna get there found it it's got spider webs all over it it's got a tennis ball and a little spooky guy June 2001, our first cache of the day for oldies along 17. Nice. Gotta put it back. This next cache we're after was placed in August of 2001 and is overlooking Lake Superior, so that should be pretty exciting. Between the first cache we did and now, we stopped at uh, two virtuals and an earth cache. We did a native school where you had to go to five different locations with that. And we did an earth cache at the St. Mary's River Rapids. Got a photo for that. And we also did a virtual for the Sioux Locks, which is pretty cool. And now we're approaching ground zero for Algoma 4, August 2001. Rock faces and bluffs highlight the rugged natural characteristics of Gross Cap. Steep cliffs rise from the water to a height of 60 to 90 meters or 2 to 300 feet, overlooking Lake Superior and the shipping lanes. The geology of Gross Cap is unusual because the area is situated on a batholith, a large deep-seated body of intrusive igneous rock consisting of coarse-grained granite rock. It was created when magma, hot liquid rock, miles below forced its way upward. Algoma 4 is one of only two caches remaining within a seven cache series. There were caches out originally, uh, Algoma 1 through 7, and only Algoma 
one and four remain in the series. So we're hoping the next cache that we're going to get will be Algoma one. Right now, we gotta get Algoma four. I think I see the spot. I found it. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> it wasn't under the rocks where I thought. Uh, we just kept wandering around and around and around in circles. The coordinates were bouncing like crazy. Ah, there it is. August 2001, Algoma 4. Ooh, <laughs> smells great. <laughs> Several of our friends should be on here recently and oh look at that Norshley September 2011 Re logbook replaced in 2011 and our friends should be right there you go terrier and an ookshook and the Bruce zero there we go July 4th July 7th awesome mm -hmm. cash Canada and the sweat is just pouring off it's 34 degrees. And little, the bugs are starting to bite. Yeah, a little bit better right here near the lake. We'll take a look at that. But it's so hot. I'll go on a four. And the view from up here is superior. <laughs> it's Lake Superior. Good morning. Well, that last cache nearly killed us. <laughs> it was so, so hot, and the sweat was just pouring off us. But we had a really good night's sleep, and we're ready to get Algoma number one is on our list next for an oldie on 17. Closest we can get is 645 meters, so it looks like we're gonna have to walk in, and it uh, looks like long pants, boots, and bug spray will be the order of the day. So we're parked right here and we need to cross the creek right here because the cache is just about here somewhere, I think. And we just so we need to just take the trail here, turn right, down, cross the bridge to the cache. On the way, I would stop and find it. Yeah, we're we're passing another cache just off the trail, but the mosquitoes are thick as thieves, just swarming. I feel like I'm in an advertisement for bug off. <laughs> Slow? Are you kidding me? I'm going as fast as I can. Maybe I can outrun the mosquitoes. <laughs> oh, thick. Okay, there's the bridge. I love suspicious piles of logs. Nice. Got it. Woohoo. Very similar to the Algoma 4 container. Except this one has more mosquitoes. Okay. So if you're little ones at home or your bigger ones that like the swag, there you go. We got Gonzo and uh, Baby Kermit and a very stylish leather change purse no money a uh, pretty uh, pretty beat up car we're all signed in and that is Algoma 1 from I think August of 2001 I can't check too many mosquitoes and uh, we got all our uh, caches from uh, oldies on 17 in this area and uh, we got to get out of here we're getting eaten alive so that took us about 25 minutes to walk through and about uh, 50 
uh, mosquito bites and a few black flies. <laughs> Skitter bit me on the thumb. Oh, well, the mosquitoes weren't too bad on the way back once the rain? rain started falling. <laughs> that was a great cache to get, another oldie. And if you like what we've been doing, and if you haven't already, consider hitting subscribe and uh, toggle the little bell so you get all the notifications and you'll know right away when a new video comes out. You can also become a patron on patreon.com slash cash Canada. We just really enjoy going on adventures and taking you with us. Keep watching. There's more caches to be found. Yeah. Where will geocaching take, take you?